Are you experiencing extremely high memory and CPU usage on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC, whether it's a laptop or desktop? If your system reaches 100% disk, CPU and RAM usage while gaming or running software, this step-by-step -step tutorial will help you fix the issue. You'll learn how to fix high memory and CPU usage with simple and effective steps, no third-party software required. We'll optimize system settings and disable unnecessary services to restore smooth performance. Right-click on the start icon and select Run. In the Run dialog, type services.msc and click OK to open the services window. Once the services window appears, look for Superfetch or Sys main service. Both refer to the same service. If you don't find Superfetch, search for Sys main instead. After locating it, double click on it and if it is running then click the stop button to stop the service then under startup type change it to disabled to prevent it from running automatically again after system restart this service preloads frequently used applications into memory which can lead to high cpu ram and disk usage disabling it won't negatively impact performance instead it can help free up system resources I've personally disabled this service for a long time and my computer runs perfectly fine. If you check Task Manager after making this change, you should notice a significant reduction in resource usage even while running tasks like screen recording. Once done, simply close the services window. Right click on the start icon again and select Run. In the Run dialog, type sysdm.cpl and click OK. A system properties window will open with several tabs including computer name, hardware, advanced, system protection and remote. Navigate to the advanced tab. Under the performance section, you'll see options for visual effects, processor scheduling, memory usage and virtual memory. Click on settings to open the performance options window. Here, under the visual effects tab, select adjust for best performance to optimize system performance by disabling unnecessary animations and effects. Click apply and then OK to save the changes. Once done, close the window and proceed to the next step. Now, right click on the start icon again and open task manager. In task manager, go to the startup tab and maximize the window for better visibility. Review the list of startup applications carefully. Right click on the application you want to disable and disable it. Right now it is showing enable option because it is already disabled. Otherwise you will get disable option here. Do not disable essential services or security software. Instead, identify unnecessary applications that launch automatically at startup and disable them. This prevents them from consuming resources in the background, improving overall system performance. As you can see in my system, I have only essential services enabled at startup and all other applications are disabled. You can do the same to significantly reduce RAM, CPU and disk usage, making your system run much smoother. After making the necessary changes, close the task manager window and proceed with the next step. Next, open File Explorer by clicking on the folder icon in the taskbar and navigate to this PC. One common issue many people overlook is storage space. If you're playing games, editing videos or working on tasks that require significant memory and processing power, ensure you have at least 25 to 50 gigabytes of free space on your system drive. In my case, I have 57 gigabytes of free space, which helps with system performance. You can also check documents, pictures, downloads and other folders to delete unnecessary files and free up space. The more free space you have, the better your system will perform, as it can be used for virtual memory and cache storage. Your storage bar should not be red. It should be either blue or green to indicate a healthy amount of free space. Once you've cleared up enough storage, close File Explorer. Now, one last thing you need to do is update Windows. Click on the search icon in the taskbar and type Windows Update. Open Windows Update Settings and click Check for Updates to ensure your system is running the latest version, which can improve performance and fix potential issues. Next is to remove cache and free up space on your computer. Right click on the start icon and select run. Type clean 
MGR and click OK. This will open the disk cleanup utility for your system C drive. Select all the options as these are temporary and junk files that are safe to delete. In my case, I only have few megabytes, but in your case, it could be several gigabytes, even 20 gigabytes or more. Deleting these unnecessary files will improve system performance and help reduce high CPU, disk, and RAM usage. Once the cleanup is complete, right click on start icon again, open run, and type temp. Click OK, select all files in the folder, and press shift plus delete to permanently remove them. These are temporary files that are no longer needed, so deleting them will make your computer run more efficiently. Next, open run once more and type percentage temp percentage, then click OK. This will open another temporary file location. Again, select all files and press shift plus delete. Some files might not delete because they are in use. That's completely fine. Just skip them and close the window. Finally, make sure to restart your computer. Many people forget this step, but restarting is crucial to applying the changes and ensuring your system runs smoothly. After restarting your computer, check its performance to see the improvements. The final step is to run a Windows security scan using Windows Defender. To do this, go to Windows Search and type Windows Security. Click on the Shield icon to open Windows Security. Next, go to Virus and Threat Protection and click on Scan Options. Here, select Full Scan, which will thoroughly check all files and running programs on your hard drive. This process may take over an hour, but it's a good habit to run this scan at least once a month. It helps remove viruses, malware, and other harmful files while ensuring nothing conflicts with your system's performance. Once you've selected Full Scan, click Scan Now and let it run. You can minimize the window and continue using your computer while the scan is in progress. After the scan is complete, restart your computer again. If this tutorial helped boost your PC's performance, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment to share your experience. I'd love to hear how it worked for you. Your support means a lot and helps me create more helpful content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.